Hey, 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 how's it going, guys? Uh, I just thought I'd pop on here real quick. Um, I'm going to uh, announce and throw my hat in the ring. I'm going to jump into uh, the One Arm Modelers uh, Snap Tight group build. Um, there's a couple guys I think are going to do two of them. Um, the date is way far out. I think it's the 28th of December. Yeah. And um, so there's plenty of time. So you, it's not like you got to start right now, but you got plenty of time to do whatever. Um, sounds like it's a very uh, open as far as uh, whatever you want to do. There's really no rules. The main rule that he's got is you got to have fun and you just got to start with a snap tight kit. So you can paint, you can do whatever you want to it. Uh, it could be a plane, it could be a car, it could be a figure. Uh, I don't think it don't think he cares. It's just got to start off as a snap tight and you got to have fun. So if you want to do one, you want to do 10, do it. So I'm going to turn the camera around here and I'm going to show you guys what my selection is. So hang on. So we're back here and of course I'm a Mopar guy, right? So here we go. We are going to do the 65 Dodge Coronet 500. Uh, this, believe it or not, is the only snap kit I have in my whole stash. So um, this was something that was gifted to me as a birthday present, I think, two years ago from my son. So, um, and he didn't even realize that he was buying a snap kit. So once I opened it up, I was like, that's a snap kit. What the hell are you trying to tell me? I'm getting that old or what? So I thought that was kind of funny. But anyhow... Uh, this is a pretty neat kit. Um, as you can tell, it's brand new yet. Um, 65 Dodge Coronet. It says it's molded in five colors. No paint required. Huh. Interesting. Um, but I'm going to paint it. Um, I can tell you that right now. Um, however I decide to do this yet, I haven't made that up yet. Um, I had a friend of mine that um, I've bought in car, big cars, one to one from before. Um, he was always kind of buying and selling stuff. He had one of these, and it was like fluorescent, uh, like a lime green. And uh, we lowered it, and it had 383 in it. So I don't know. I might, um, I might do uh, like a tribute car to a buddy of mine's old car that he owned. Um, that might be kind of cool. Um, otherwise, I might do it, you know, in like a B5 blue or something like that. We'll see. Um, but. I haven't really made up my mind on the color yet. So um, I think it's gonna be more factory than anything. Um, I'm not gonna do like a ton of like fabrication like I did in the duster or what I'm doing to the USAC build. So I think we're just gonna kind of roll with the uh, parts that come in the kit. Um, maybe change the wheels, uh, maybe change the motor and paint it and do a little detail work to the uh, parts and pieces that are in here so my guess is we'll probably use at least 70 percent of this kit so that being said um oh yeah so um i know there was a few other guys that uh emailed about shop cards shop cards here's another got another batch so shop cards are back in stock um, if I haven't sent one out to you and I said I would, um, they're back. So, um, uh, please resend your thing to me to make sure, um, that I'm not getting it all confused up because, hey, I'm getting old, as my son says. Um, so, and I'll send one out. And then to anybody that has not received one that, um, we've already changed or it got lost in the mail, please, you know, don't be shy. Hit me up again. And I will get another one out there if you haven't received one. And I told you I sent one. Um, so I've had uh, two people that have sent me shop cards uh, already that um, theirs had gotten lost in the mail to come to me. I don't know if that was due to the holidays or what, but um, stuff happens. So. so we'll go back to the. So with that, that's going to conclude this video. Um, I also want to thank all my subs. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate all the great comments on the uh, Street Machine group build. Um, some of you guys messaged me privately. That's very cool. 
Um, I hope I answered your questions. Some of them asked me what I lowered it, how much this and that. Um, I will do a detailed, a better detailed video on that stuff once um, I get some more time and I will roll it over, put it on microfiber tall, and I'll show you guys all the underneath stuff because um, I did try and keep intact majority of the stock chassis, um, kind of like what we do at the one to ones where we've incorporated, moved the springs inboard, um, sub tied it, um, you know, all the stuff that a race car is going to need to give it structural strength. So it's got a cross member, it's got sub ties, it's got a lot of stuff in there like a one to one. So I will show that. Um, so for now, I'm fine with answering everybody's questions until I get that video made on what I did. So the common one that came across was, hey, that's the EMT kit, right? I said, yes, that was. They said, well, how did it get that low? Well, I'll tell you right now, I lowered the front three eighths of an inch from that kit and a quarter of an inch in the back. And then of course, those are a little bit taller of a tire like a race car would have versus a stock tire combination is a little bit smaller. So that's why I kind of had to go to those extremes on the chassis work on that kit because the tires are much bigger that I've incorporated into the build and I had to lower the spindle height basically three eighths in the front and a quarter in the back and it required reworking all the wheel tubs and all that stuff so um, but this video is about Joey's group build because if I deter it too far away from Joey he's gonna get mad at me and gonna probably cry a little bit no, I'm just kidding, Joey. You know I love you. So, with that being said, I'm out of here. Talk to y'all later.